welcome to a new vlog. I want to say good morning, but actually it's not morning, it's afternoon, and I've only just had my shower and washed my hair. I've spent the morning mucking out and editing videos for my members club. It's our wedding anniversary today, and we are going out for a late lunch at a pub that I haven't been to for years. I said to Tatsai, why don't we try it? So that is what we're doing. So it's a real treat not to have to cook today, but I thought I would get ready with you. I actually bought this it's new. I haven't tried it. I only tried it on my hand last night and um, I, thought, I thought we'd give it a whirl together. It is BB, BB Premium Beauty Balm um, Multitasker with SPF 50 and I love my Trini. I love it but it doesn't have SPF in it and my skin pigmentation is not great so I thought we needed to go in with the um, with the the big guys so I've seen this has been highly recommended so I thought I'd give it a go we will try it out it's I've got shade light medium there's not that much choice of shades um, it says apply a piece size amount to neck and face and blend so let's give it a whirl I think I'm gonna use my fingers and we will see what we think of the coverage, but I just feel like I need, although I have my SPF on under my Trini foundation, I just feel like at this time of year, I need more in the way of SPF. So that is why I thought I'd try this. It feels very nice, feels quite hydrating. So I've done my normal skincare routine. Um, and then, trying this and actually I think the colour's quite good too. Anyway, I'm going to just pop this on and then come back. So I think that's really lovely. We are, um, one, another reason why I went for it and it's called Dr. Jart Plus BB Premium Beauty Balm SPF 50 is this time next week we're going on holiday which is super super exciting so i thought that actually it would be really good to take on holiday i'm just going to put something on my lips just to give a bit of color this is a trini emily um so i thought i'd try that out right now we need to go in with our contouring and our blush out look how much i've used of that i love this product i think it's called Solar, solar, something like that. Okay. Yes, it is solar. Um, I love it. You can see how much I've used it. Um, so I just put a little bit up there. But I, I'm liking this. I think it's also um, a good colour for this time of year. It's got like a little bit more colour to it than um, the Sophie. That's very much kind of my winter colour. And so it's nice to have a little bit more like tan in my makeup um, at this time of year. So I just thought it would be fun. I haven't got ready with you for ages. Now, last week was really stressful. It was really bad. I just... <laughs> literally could have cried. Santana is having a little holiday. She's actually got the physio coming tomorrow and I'm going to chat to her about it. And um, Tintin is away. He's competing in Germany, but I'm going to chat to him, to Di, and just make a plan. And Di actually called me to see how she had got on. She said she felt like she was going to be tricky um, because she was coming into season as well. So that didn't help. And it, um, <laughs> I was left by myself for an hour and a half, which is why it took so long. And then I had this lovely girl that came to help me and, um, she tried for a while on her own and I said, come on, let's do this together. And we got her in, but it was stressful. It was stressful. It was a bad week. There was all sorts of hurdles thrown at me. The Argo is now working fine. Um, I've got somebody coming to fix a tumble dryer on Wednesday. I hate towels that come out of, like, come off the washing line, literally like um, sandpaper. That's how our towels for the B&Bs are currently. So um, 
I'm going to have to apologise to our next guest and say I'm really sorry, there's nothing I can do. Um, and the washing machine seems okay, so <laughs> let's hope that there are no hurdles thrown at me this week because I simply don't have the energy at all for it. But it has been a good morning and I'm hanging on to that. Right, I'm now going to go in with the Trini line to define eyeliner. I absolutely love this. I've shared this with you before. It's amazing. And um, I just love the colour. This is the bronze. It's called Chantal Bronze Shimmer. And I just pop it underneath here. And then above. Along here. And I'm going to do that quickly and then come back. Right, my makeup is done. My husband wants to come and have a shower, so he's grumbling next door. But that is my look. So I'm actually really, really pleased with this. I will keep you posted as ever. I'm just wearing the same dress that I wore to badminton. I had loads and loads of compliments on it. Sadly, it is last year's from me and M. It's my most comfiest, comfiest dress. I will just show you. It's got this sort of smocked waistband and um, it's a little tight across the boobs at the moment. We'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, but yes, that is my look for today um, to go out for lunch to celebrate our wedding anniversary. I'm ready and everybody else is since I've got to come down and talk to you here. Sorry about all of the washing behind me, but Sunday is a big laundry day in this house, getting all the uniform and sports kit ready for the week ahead. But I wanted to talk to you about the Kinder plan. I didn't know whether to talk to you about this now or in a few weeks time, but I thought I'd share what, what I'm doing with you now. Um, Charlotte, who runs Ballon Core Nutrition, and we have a podcast episode together and she's come on and done a session with my members club as well. I really, really love her whole ethos towards food and nutrition and, and all of that. Now, I have told you, I have been comfort eating and I actually put on a stone and hence this dress is a little tight, everything's a little bit tight and I just needed some help to stop the sugar and as I've told you we've also got a lot going on at the moment and we've got a lot going on for the next however many months ahead. So did I wait till things were a bit more settled or did I just get on with it now and I thought actually just get on with it now because I was feeling rubbish, really rubbish in myself. Um, I was using sugar, I was using caffeine, I was eating proper food, sensible food, home cooked food, but I was also eating loads of rubbish. Chocolate, crisps, um, biscuits, just reaching for the sugar. And I found myself having biscuits before going up to do, my, do the horses in the morning, having done a workout. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And I was really, I, I've always, not had the best relationship with sugar. It's always been my sort of go-to thing. And I thought, right, now it's time to actually address this. So when Charlotte said that she had um, a, a course, I don't, I don't know exactly how she runs it. I know she had um, an intake in April of students. I don't know whether it's like a monthly thing, um, but I will leave the details to the kind of plan linked down below because it's what I'm doing. And I am now on day, I actually started halfway through Thursday. So I had a Zoom with her um, before going to take the horse to Coco's lesson. And I, I'd not had a brilliant breakfast. I, um, well, I had a good breakfast, but I had probably about eight Maryland cookies. Then I had the session and Charlotte was like, just say, do I really need this? Is this gonna help me? And the answer is always no when it comes to reaching for sugary snacks and things. So since then, I have been really, really careful about what I've been eating. I've been sticking to this and I have felt pretty rubbish. I'm not gonna lie. Um, coming off sugar, if you've done it, you can relate. You feel grim before you feel better. But actually today, 
So that was like half of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today is Sunday. So we're like day three and a half-ish. I am feeling a lot better today. Um, and I know that, um, I know that I will feel a lot better going forward and things will start to fit better and I will have more energy and, and it, it's just getting things back in track. And sometimes you need somebody to hold your hand and help you through it. And so the kind of plan is doing that and that's what I'm doing. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna be feeling um, just so much better, so much better. So hopefully things will start to fit a little bit better too because I've been bursting out of all sorts of things. And I, I don't like to sort of, I'm really petite. And so when I put on weight, it, I have actually, a lot of people have said, I haven't noticed. It just goes between my boobs and um, sort of my bum, basically this bit. So I can disguise it quite, quite carefully-ish. Um, I've just felt so uncomfortable and, you know, it's not surprising I've put on weight. I have been eating so badly that, um, you know, it catches up with the amount, no amount of exercise, dog walks and all the rest of it is going to help. It's just about eating sensibly and being, you know, mindful about what you're eating and not um, shoving in the junk food. And the more sugar you have, the more your body craves it. It is one of the most addictive things. So enough is enough. And so I thought I'd share that with you. Right, I am going to do a few jobs sort a few things out before we go out for our lunch. And also what's great with the kind of plan, it's five days a week. So the other two days, you can do what you want, if you want, or you can stick with it. So far today, I have stuck with it. We will go out for lunch. I will have a lovely lunch. I won't beat myself up at all. And that's what I love about Charlotte. She's so sensible and practical. And, you know, she's like, you know, Charlie, you've got a lot going on at the moment. Be kind to yourself if you want to have you know, a really good bit of dark chocolate each day, that's fine. Don't beat yourself up if you need that. And actually so far, I haven't needed it, which is really, really good, but I have felt grim. <laughs> but it takes a few days and it's about, you know, sticking with, and I will keep you updated how we are getting on. <laughs> going bless him I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards probably because I have I've been gardening but we had the most wonderful wonderful lunch it was just gorgeous the white horse at Sutton if you haven't been and you live in this area you must go it was such a treat such a treat I don't think I've had such a good meal out for years I mean, maybe even ever, and I know that's quite a statement, but it wasn't fussy over the top. We had chicken liver, parfait to start with brioche, and the most beautiful, like, blue cheese butter and um, uh, pear, <laughs> pear sort of thing, like jelly kind of thing. It was so delicious. Gussie had um, a, a fish cake and some prawns. And then we had roast beef. Coco had a Thai chicken and prawn curry, which was absolutely divine. So I was like, it's worth coming back here just for that, like midweek, so my parents were already doing crazy things. Um, and then we weren't gonna have pudding, but we did. <laughs> um, we all shared uh, various puddings. So, so delicious. An absolute treat and divine food. So that was great. And now Sarah's back on the tractor and I have done the two rose beds and I'm just taking the tulips that have died out of the pots and sorting them out. It's a hot air balloon behind me. Santana has gone into the little paddock much to her horror. Well, her paddock is being topped, but um, this needs to be topped. So she'll have to be in there for a few days. But anyway, um, it's such a good egg. I was like, Danny, you've really got to do that paddock because I need it, I need it so she can go back into it. So you're gonna to have to get on the tractor. <laughs> he said earlier, it's a bit of a bone shaker. He got off having done the other fields. He's done the back field. 
that took a good two hours and he's probably an hour into this field anyhow um because we had such a wonderful meal we're not eating tonight the children can have a bowl of soup and something really really light i've even got brambles in my hair but i'm going to crack on i've got a little bit more gardening to do and then i shall chat to you tomorrow oh and what do we think you can't really see with the visor on um but i'm quite impressed with this makeup i like it let me know what you think hello and good morning i have just propped you up here because i've got a gardening injury it's not really coming across on camera i don't know it's really not coming across there it's not um it's not a biggie but when i was pulling a weed out i pulled up and i pulled my arm into a rose thorn and got spiked and it's quite sore and i don't think I don't think there's anything in there, but I'm going to pop some of this on magnesium sulfate paste to draw it out with a plaster on the top. And I thought while I was doing that, I would just talk you through it because magnesium sulfate is just one of those wonderful things to have in the cupboard for things like this. So it literally is a white paste. And I, I used this on, I think it was on, on one of the children recently. So I'm just going to put a dollop of that on there. It's quite sore. And then I'm just wipe my finger on that. And then I'm just going to cover it with a plaster like that. And that hopefully will draw it out. Um, I'm going to leave it on all day. I'll take it off this evening and hopefully if there is anything in there, it will be drawn out um, and sorted. Right, I need to go downstairs and get cracking with the day naturally. I've already lost quite a lot of it this morning, but I will catch up with you properly downstairs. I'm downstairs having put the plaster on my arm. I've got granola literally coming out of my ears. I have um, a couple of local shops that I supply. One of them put in a larger order than they normally do, but that's fine because I'd rather like get ahead. And then um, I've had some online orders as well. So they're literally there's granola everywhere. I had granola for breakfast. I am loving, I, I have made my own, um, but actually when I made my own kefir, it killed my sourdough starter because you shouldn't keep them in the same fridge. And that was just really annoying. And Susanna's kefir is just amazing. And we can buy it in the local village shop, which is even better. And she's just such a gorgeous person that it's actually easier to get this. And because this is so local anyway, I feel like it's kind of local kefir. It is local kefir, so it's fine. It's good. So I had that with my granola and some berries for breakfast. I have run out of my bags, which is a little bit of a disaster because I wasn't expecting such a big order. So I'm hoping in here, I've just got the post in, there might be some more. I ordered yesterday, yes, 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 yes. My granola bags are here. Perfect, because I actually have got four more batches to make, which I haven't made because I needed the bags and I was running out of space to put it in. So I can get going with that and my labels for the bags. The granola bags look like this. But if you want to order any, please wait for a week because I'm going on holiday and I won't be able to post it, but that is what my homemade granola looks like. So that is excellent. I can get going. And actually, Amazon, well done for doing this packaging. I know they've been doing it for a while, but this packaging is so much better than um, a whole load of plastic. So that is good. And then this, I think, I think I know what it is and I'm going to open it with you and we'll try it on. Um, So this is from Keho Prince and I tried it on at Burley and a couple of people, more than a couple of people, like Charlie, I really hope you bought that. It was only for 
pre-order, but Kate sent me one. Um, and it is this that I tried on in last week's vlog. And I just love them. I absolutely love them. They are so cozy, so comfy. And this is like the elevated version to the other one I have. So, um, oh, it's a little bit big. No, it's fine. Let me just turn the cuffs back. Um, that is just so gorgeous. Look at that. I put it on with my dress at badminton and I got such lovely feedback. And so I've ordered one and I just think they're like, you could just wear them like snuggled up in front of the fire. You can wear it out and about. You can wear it over a dress. You can wear it to go have your morning cup of tea in the garden. You can wear it in so many different ways. So I am absolutely thrilled with that. And I like the longer styles. I've actually got the other one down here. So this is the like shorter, not quite so padded version and um do i need to not really but these are things i'm gonna have in my wardrobe for years and years and years like this is actually what i was gonna wear today just over this t-shirt because the weather is pretty miserable and so i thought i would just wear that probably or tuck my t-shirt in but this is like the more robust version and also slightly more elegant with stand-up collar. So I am absolutely thrilled with that. Um, I'm so kind of Kate to send it because I might take, I'm gonna definitely take one of them on holiday and I'm gonna check the forecast and see what the weather's doing, but it might be, if the weather's not looking great, I'll probably go for this one. If the weather's looking good, I'll probably go for this, which is just really easy, just that sort of extra layer. And it's quite nice this time of year to not necessarily put wool on. Although I did wear this with my cashmere leggings like a few weeks ago in front of the fire and that was really cosy. But I just think they are so lovely. And this one is just the blue. So this one's very much blue and green. And this one's just a blue. I think just with jeans and trainers and a simple like white linen top, really, really lovely for going out and about this time of year. So I thrilled with that. Right, I think I need to crack on, bake the rest of the granola and get that done. I've also got a batch of elderflower that's there waiting to be strained in a few hours so I need to go and find plastic bottles to put those into and dogs running around. I love it this time of year when I can just have the door open. That was a penny, um, penny whizzing around. Anyhow, I will catch you all a bit later. So I've just printed more labels and I thought while I was labelling the bags, I would chat to you. Um, so I am feeling like, oh, Florence just fell off the sofa. Flo, Florence, Florence, you all right? What are you doing? Did you just plop off the back of the sofa? She did, plus her tail wagging frantically. You did just plop off, didn't you? Yes. Do you want to lie by the arbor with Lola? Do you want to lie down here? Oh, that little, that little Florence. Um, yes. What was I going to say? I was going to chat to you about how I'm feeling. I am feeling a thousand times better. So I haven't had any sugar apart from shared a pudding with Sai on our anniversary, but I haven't had any sugar, refined sugar since then. So I'm having fruit and, um, you know, things like that, but I'm just not having refined sugar um, and I'm not having um, sort of white rice and potatoes and things like that, just for the moment, um, just while I kind of balance out my bl blood sugar again. And I honestly am feeling a thousand times better. There's still stressful stuff going on behind the scenes. And you know, as soon as I can talk to you about it all, I absolutely will. Um, however, like people have said to me, oh Charlie, you've got so much going on at the moment, be kind to yourself. Does it matter if you have some chocolate? Does it matter if you don't eat very well? Well, actually I was getting to the point where I was feeling hideous. 
really hideous. And I actually stopped drinking matcha. I haven't had any caffeine either. I'm literally just having a, a good detox. And I feel so much clearer in my mind. I feel less shaky. I feel um, the headaches, the, the coming off everything headaches have gone. I did feel hideous, if I'm honest, for about, I think it was about three and a half days. And then thank goodness I turned the corner. I even ached all over, like my whole body hurt. Um, it was grim, but I am feeling so much better. And um, just more settled in myself and calmer. I actually, I said, I said to Charlotte who runs Balancor, I was like, I feel ready to tackle the world. <laughs> she was like, good. It does make such a difference, doesn't it? And yeah. And actually somebody commented on last week's video I made, um, I used Rice Krispies when I made like a chocolatey treat for us. And yes, those are ultra processed. And yes, I would rather use Rice Krispies um, and some chocolate and butter and golden syrup that I know what I'm putting in than buy a tub of, you know, you know those tubs you get like two for five pounds from a well-known well -known brand um, and a supermarket as well does them too. I would rather buy our, make our own version. And it's a bit of a sweet treat and there will be times when I have processed food and there will be times when we you know get a ready meal and there will be times when I do whatever and that's okay but if the balance is more like 80 20 that is so much better and that's why I love Charlotte you know she's very much you know I said we're going on holiday what am I going to do and she was like just just don't worry about it, relax, enjoy your holiday. We're actually self-catering. And so I will be going and buying fresh fruit, fruit and veg, hopefully from the market. And I will be cooking quite a lot because I actually love cooking. And I'm hoping that Sai will do some barbecuing and some things and we'll get involved. He's also trying, I mean, my husband, it's no secret, is a big chap. <laughs> and um, I have realized over the 17 years that we've been married, he has to want to make the changes. There's no point me nagging him because that doesn't work. He just puts his blinkers on. If he sees me eating healthily and he sees me feeling great, then it might spur him on to, and that's perfect. It has to be because he wants to do it, not because I have nagged him to do it. I've tried that. But trust me, it doesn't work. And that's you know something I've learned over uh, years of being married. And, you know, Simon's always been huge. When I first met him, he was bigger than he is now. Um, and, you know, it would be great for him and for his health if he were to lose a few stone, but he's got to want to do it. He has started with personal trainer. So that is one huge, huge step forward. And he has come on some much faster walks with me. So that's also a huge step forward. And um, I'm hoping that um, me being more conscious about what I'm eating um, will make a huge difference to him as well. And I know that the children are really on board. Um, one of the children um, I was in the supermarket with the other day, and we were just looking at the labels on the back of um, back of you know packets and comparing. And there are two um, there are two brands. Um, One's Love Corn and one's Graves. And if you compare the ingredients between the two of them, you will notice a huge difference. So I said to the child in question that was with me, you know, what do you think is the better option? And they were like, that one, mummy. And I was like, yep, absolutely. That one is the way forward. And so I think it's just important to be mindful, but also not to beat yourself up. If, you know, I've got Rice Krispies in the cupboard, that have been there for a little while and I'm going to use them up and I might choose not to buy them again but actually my children love those chocolate rice crispy things and so if we have them from time to time that's okay and there will be other things that I make um, you know cakes and, and biscuits and things but it's having them occasionally rather than them becoming an everyday thing so I think that's 
uh, the shift that we're making and you know occasionally we might have some fizzy drinks but um but they are so bad for you but i don't want to be one of those parents that says you absolutely cannot have that and you can't have that and what have you and then my children rebel because i've been too strict i always think it's about getting the right balance so that's what we're doing i honestly feel so much better i got up i did a workout this morning um, I did full body weighted because, you know, for us women at this age, it is really important that we are moving our bodies and keeping our strength, particularly as we go into, you know, perimenopause, menopause and beyond. It is really, really important to keep strong and active. It makes such a difference. And Lee always comes up with these amazing gems. So <laughs> this morning's workout, she said sorry but her hair annoying me she said posture remember I don't know I can't remember exactly what her words were but basically posture is everything if you stand properly and you hold yourself properly everything works much better and it is so true you know if you stand with your head you know properly <laughs> on your neck on, and roll your shoulders back rather than you know you can easily have your head forward like that and then you're going to be hunched over it's really important to keep your head up, chin up, roll your shoulders back, relax, breathe, take a moment. And if you stand tall, you can feel it. All your organs and your stomach and everything can move easily. But when you're crouched over and you're haunched and you're at your desk working like this, it's not good for us. So it is really important. I'm always banging onto the children. Actually, Simon's... Um, <laughs> quite keen on posture too. I'm always banging onto the children about stand tall, shoulders back, chin up. And I think actually that's where, um, oh, this, oh, no, it's fine. Um, I just saw Santana um, hooning around in her paddock. But I think she's just excited. And maybe somebody, something flew over or something. But it's really important to, um, you know, to hold yourself correctly. And I think, that um, I was thinking about it this morning as I was getting ready, actually. I feel really lucky that I used to do a lot of competing, um, mainly side saddle, but pre side saddle, I did um, showing and, and pony eventing. And you have to hold yourself properly in your dressage. And mum would always say, think of the sniff under your nose. <laughs> and imagine that there was something, you know, and that would just keep my head in the right position. Sniff under your nose, darling. And, you know, shoulders back and head up and chest out and hold yourself properly. And that really helped set me on a good track with posture, you know, going forward into life as, as a child. You know, I would be on a pony and mummy would say, you know, sit up, shoulders back, head back. And then I did ballet as well for years. So those two things have definitely helped with posture. But it is really important because I think we can get hunched over so easily um, at our desks and not stand tall. So I think a few times a day, breathe, roll your shoulders and relax. And another thing that I am doing at the moment is drinking a lot of water and I think my skin's looking better. I haven't actually got many lights on this, it's a bit gloomy, but I have got this uh, bottle, which I bought actually on Amazon. I bought one for Coco, I think for Christmas, and then I bought one. And they keep your drink really cold. I've just got water. And I have, I filled this up four times yesterday. So that is pretty good going. And I'm just trying to drink lots because I think that is really important. Often we think that we are hungry when actually we're thirsty and we're not drinking enough. So drinking a lot is really important. Now I've paddled on to you for over 10 minutes. I'm going to fill my granola bags and, um, and, and, and yeah, get going because I need to get these delivered. Well, four batches of granola done and I have just uh, filmed a TikTok slash Instagram reel for um, how to make my elderflower cordial. I've just finished filming it so I started filming it yesterday and I actually had Sophie, my photographer, come um, yesterday which was amazing and she filmed bits of it for me which was super super helpful but I've been on my own today so I've just bottled it 
and I don't like using plastic, but I do use these. These are actually left over from a few years ago. I bought them in bulk and um, I still had some, so I've just used these. I put them in the freezer and I will, uh, we're going away at the wrong time. We're going away at prime elder flash cordial time, which is not ideal. Um, however, I will try to make a couple more batches before we go, if I can. I'm not putting any pressure on myself because I have got quite a lot to do, um, but that's, that's fine. And um, yes, I've just been piddling around. I am still sipping on my water. And do you know what? I'm not really feeling hungry today. Like I've had this awful, like, like I suppose coming off the sugar, just this constant sort of thinking about food, wanting food. I've had breakfast, which was my granola, my kefir and some strawberries. I had just a sensible lunch, which actually was yesterday's leftovers. And then, I've had five Brazil nuts because they're really good for you. I've just been sipping at my water. I did have a sip of elderflower cordial and I could have drunk the whole lot and I was like, no, I'm not going to. I had a sip for like the video part and I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to have the rest of it. I made myself quite a weak one, but it felt very sweet. And elderflower cordial, so we take one of these out of the freezer once a week for Sunday lunch and that's our treat. If we've got friends coming over, then we have more. And um, I use it in cake recipes. I use it in like cocktails. I use it in lots of different ways and I just love, love having it in the freezer. My recipe, and I will leave it linked down in the description of this video, has a lot less sugar, so much less sugar than other recipes. And I have been perfecting this recipe over the last 20 years. I have been making it for such a long time. And um, because Sai doesn't drink, he has this as a treat. But he found typical shop-bought elderflower cordial really too sweet. Whereas this isn't because it's a lot less sugar. It lasts in the fridge for up to like, well, five to 10 days when it starts going fizzy, you know it's had it. But I just, I just, freeze it and I don't fill the bottles full. I think I don't even know where I got these bottles. I used to sell my elderflower cordial during uh, lockdown. I had reset, Ask Charlie hadn't been going for, for very long and Simon told me I needed to stop my business and focus on homeschooling the children and he couldn't fund it. So I had funded having Tish by running um, cookery demos here around this kitchen island and I did them in person and I loved them and that is what funded Tish and could how I started my business and then when lockdown happened I had to think outside the box and Simon said I can't fund you darling you're on your own I, I think you need to stop and just focus on homeschooling the children because you can't do it all well <laughs> I'm such a stubborn old mule that was like a red rag to a bull I have, I have slight confession. I did actually punch him in the arm. I was so angry, so angry. It had been a particularly bad day. All three children had made me cry because the internet wasn't working and I couldn't get anything to print and it was really, really stressful. It was so stressful. Anyhow, I, um, I, I thought outside the box and that's when I, I think I'd started selling granola. Maybe I was doing granola then, I can't remember, but I started making jams, scones. I must have made over a thousand scones and posted them all around the country. I posted elderflower cordial to people. I had a few disasters because I posted it in glass bottles because I wanted it to be environmentally friendly. The glass bottles broke. Um, but I that's how I got into like, yeah making all sorts of things and, and posting them and I suppose it's how my like little online business um started to grow and kept kept me afloat and I'm very very grateful that I thought outside the box and actually I'm really grateful that my husband put me under that much pressure and he needed to rightly so he sells fish to restaurants and pub groups and <laughs> that was a nightmare so I really did have to think outside the box um but anyway, yes, 
I think I got the plastic bottles then and these are left over, but they are brilliant. Um, so I bought lots of things in bulk to save money. And um, yeah, so I will pop these in the freezer and then we can enjoy them over the coming months. Anyway, I need to go and do dogs, horses, children, all that jazz. And so I'll chat to you tomorrow now. Hi, <laughs> the dogs are all wrestling with one another. But I wanted to show you my beautiful flowers, which are just from Tesco's, but they're making me really happy. My pennies aren't quite ready to pick from the garden. A couple of years ago, I put a peony cutting bed in up by the stables and they're looking good, but they're not quite there yet. But these ones I bought in Tesco's, peonies and Alstroemeria. I've currently got three dogs jumping up at me. But I wanted to give you an update on the arm. It's literally magic. I took the plaster off last night. It feels so much better. It's not red, it's not swollen, and that is the joy of magnesium sulfate. It just works wonders. Florence, I'm not picking you up. No. Um, I have had a day. Oh, I started quite early this morning, actually. I woke up at 5.45 and I lay in bed for a little while. No, no, I'm not picking you up. I'm not, because I know that you probably want to go out and if I pick you up, you're going to whittle on mummy. <laughs> I don't want to be whittled on because I've got to go on the school run in about 15 minutes. Um, I, uh, yes, uh, got up at six and I spent three hours Ah, oh, three hours at my laptop, typing up recipes and editing a couple of videos for my members club for June. And I just checked, well, I was on, I was doing really well until everybody else woke up. And then there was distractions of, mum, can I have this? Mum, can I have that? And then Sai so said, can you do this? And then the guy came to fix the tumble dryer. It's not going to be fixed till like, the 3rd of June. Anyhow, I only really use it to fluff up the towels, so we're just going to have to have towels like cardboard for the foreseeable few weeks. Um, and hopefully the B&B guests won't mind that they're not having fluffy white towels. But hey-ho, there's not a lot I can do about it. So he came and they need to order a part. And so that's fine. And actually the tumble dryer is going to have a little bit of a makeover because having a new filter and a new front door. So actually it's going to have a new lease of life. So that is fine. Um, and it's just been one of those days of, um, yeah, sorting out children. I've got one child who's not overly happy at the moment. So I've been dealing with that, but we're making huge steps forward. So that's really positive. But it has taken up quite a lot of my time today. But I wanted to give you an update on that and just check in and say hi. And I'm sorry, it's not a particularly exciting vlog. It's not going to be particularly horsey. Oh, I don't think I gave you an update on the physio. So she um, came and treated Santana. She's actually really pleased with how she's doing. But she thinks it's hormones and her season and what have you. So I've spoken to the vet. He's having a think about what our options are and we're going to make a game plan going forward because, you know, some meds are very marish and some aren't and, um, you know, there are things that can be done about it. So that is what we're doing on that front. But she's having a little bit of a holiday, um, although T Coco took her out for a walk the other evening, which is very sweet. The two of them went for a walk uh, together and did some groundwork because groundwork is really important. It's not just about the riding, it's about the handling on the ground and that will help with the loading as well. So that is really important. So they did that. Now these dogs are all saying, mummy, could you stop prattling please and give us our supper? It has been such a wet, miserable day. I'm just gonna show you my outfit quickly. Although I'm not in a great spot. This shirt is Isabel Morant and I bought it pre-loved from Juliana and I just love it with a navy cardigan. I'm actually just, uh, yesterday evening, I washed all my woolens, yeah. not all of them, but, but a lot of them. And so this is actually washed and dried and cleaned on. Before I go on holiday, I like to get on top of all laundry and things. I'm just wearing it with my jeans and it's a day for Converse. And these are the like cushioned soles. They're not like the normal, regular Converse. Um, they are so comfortable. 
and it is wet, it is miserable, it is cold, it is gloomy, could even light the fire kind of weather tonight, so I went for comfort, but anyway, I'm going to feed the dogs, take them for a little quick run, and then go and do school pickup. Sado's starter is looking good and ready to make a loaf with and I have just picked lots of asparagus from the kitchen garden so there's some that have got really tall I literally just grabbed it I need to wash and sort this out but also took Billy up some strawberries and some lettuce and lots of eggs from the hens which is really really exciting so I think tonight it might be I've got some salmon with asparagus and as a little bit of a treat I think I might make my hollandaise as well because it's so delicious and and it's only got a bit of butter in and, and eggs it's not like it's got loads of sugar and all of that stuff so that is what our supper is going to be but I'm going to so I'm going to make my sourdough loaf now and then we can enjoy that tomorrow. Sourdough takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it. So worth it. And I'm not eating regular bread and things like that at the moment, but my own homemade sourdough is an absolute yes. I've just popped into Red Card in Petworth, which is one of my favourite places to come to buy birthday cards, greetings cards, any cards. It's the best place here. They have such a wonderful selection. Um, Gus is about to be 13, which is quite scary, but they also have such beautiful, beautiful pottery. I love these little, little mugs. How gorgeous is that? And then I also spotted, well, these lemon jugs. How cool are they? And then over here, there's strawberries. I love this time of year when there's so much colour and fun. Look at these. How beautiful is that? So my favourite shop in Petworth um, for birthday cards and things like that. I love it in here. Anyway, I thought I had to share it with you because it's just so gorgeous. They also have got some amazing children's toys and Lego and all sorts. Look at this. Mine, when they were little, would have got very, very excited to have seen those. I am back from Petworth having got a few bits and pieces for Gus's birthday. And I've just had lovely, lovely Sophie, who does my photography work here, doing some product shots for Christmas. Yes, we're planning Christmas here. I know that is absolutely crazy, isn't it? Actually, let me show you what we were photographing. We were photographing table runners. We were just doing flat lay shots. And then I have my Christmas uh, gift bag. So blue stripes, these come in a set of three. And then I have a red stripe set too. And I also have them in extra large. And then my favourite is the red gingham sets. So no more wrapping paper, guys. No more wrapping paper. You just pop them in the bag, pull the cords. You can tie them in a pretty bow or not even. And um, that that is, you know, so much better for the environment. Recyclable, reusable, and you're not chucking away so much wrapping paper. 
year after year, which I just, I, I yeah, I find it upsetting. And then my red gingham table runner, we were photographing that as well. So lovely Sophie just whizzed over. Luckily, she's nice and local and she got those shots for me. When I got back, the post had arrived and actually I'll share this with you in a minute. First, I will tell you a bit about it and give you a bit of background. So I had the pleasure of meeting Jackie Pond at the Vitality retreat that I went to just before Dad's funeral earlier this year. And Jackie is the most incredible, incredible person. And um, I, I really, really enjoyed getting to know her and chatting to her. She had a, a life changing domestic accident and broke her back, uh, C4 and 5, I believe, and they were incomplete. Um, if that makes sense, if you're medical back, have a medical background, you will understand that. But it was bad, really, really bad and totally and utterly life changing for her. And Jackie, as you are watching this, 6pm on Friday is launching her fourth um, Spinal Injury Association raffle. And I have seen the prizes. Wow, wow, wow. They are amazing. And I'm going to link to it down below in the description of this video. And also, if you get to my weekly newsletter, the details will be in there as well. Jackie is such an inspiration. She's honestly, the, the, what she does is amazing, raising awareness and going and talking to people that have had spinal, um, spinal injuries. And, you know, spinal injuries are completely and utterly life changing. I have a childhood friend who, who broke her back very badly and is in a wheelchair. And, you know, the work that my friend Anna does, but, but what Jackie does as well is, is amazing. And I think when something awful happens, turning your life around and then going and helping other people, I think is so admirable and amazing. So one of the ways that Jackie is raising money is via this t-shirt, which is partnered with Wildstar. And uh, I think this is a, Jackie's done these t-shirts a few times with Wildstar. And I ordered this for me, um, C'est la vie. And this is this year's motto. Each year they have a different, a different something or other. But I just thought this t-shirt was so cool. And five pounds of every sale is going to the Spinal Injury Association, which I think is amazing. I know exactly how I'm gonna style this with my blue long skirt and my green, um, my green denim jacket. And that will definitely be coming away with me I just think it's a great t-shirt, but also for a really, really great cause as well. So I will leave the details linked down below for that because um, I chatted, Jackie and I had a really lovely chat on the phone and I said, um, I'd already ordered the t-shirt and I said, you know, Jackie, I, I want to share this. I want to talk about it. Is that okay? And she was like, of course you can. You know, that's such a lovely thing to do. We need to raise awareness because, you know, in a flash, our lives can be changed by having an accident. I broke my leg very badly. Um, that is so insignificant to what Jackie has been through. And she really is, she really is a walking miracle and, and such an inspiration and inspiring lady. So I said, Jackie, I want to, I want to share this. Is that all right? And she was like, yes, Charlie, that's so kind of you. So I'm going to leave the t-shirt linked in the description of this video um, because I just think it's such a good cause. We need to, um, you know, support these little, little charities that don't get so much awareness as, um, you know, the bigger charities. They don't have so much publicity, but spinal injuries, um, you know, it can happen to any of us and um, it's, a, it's a great, a great cause to support. So... Um, I will leave that linked there for you. I'm going to leave this week's vlog here because it's actually been a long and kind of crazy, crazy day. I've had a lot going on that I, that I haven't um, been able to film and share with you, but they're all good. And it's been a much better week than last week, a much better week. So onwards and upwards. And next week we're on, we're on our holiday. So that will be wonderful. I'm taking you along with me. 
I can't wait for that but I hope that you have enjoyed this week's vlog and I think the word of this week should be wild star wild star if you've got to the end of the video after this t-shirt leave wild star dropped in the comments below if you are new to my channel please 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 hit subscribe we have just hit six and a half thousand subscribers which is amazing so thank you all so very very much much love and i will see you next in corsica and um, i'm really looking forward to it the forecast has been a little bit iffy so let's hope we have some sunshine over there and you have a lovely lovely weekend and i'll see you very soon